Hello friends, welcome to the Art Integrated Learning of Mathematics. Today we can learn a very interesting method to enlarge or reduce the size of a picture. Hey, I am not talking about any machine. We can do it on our own very easily using grid method. Along with that, we can learn a very important concept in mathematics that we use in our everyday life. Here is the picture of a cute baby elephant. We want to change the size of this picture. I'll show you some enlarged pictures. Do you see any abnormality? Yes. In this picture, our elephant is too long and in the other, it is too wide. Let's check what happened to this picture when we enlarged it. First, we measure the base and height of our original picture. The base is 10 cm and height is 8 cm. Now, we have two lengths, base and height so that we can compare them. The comparison between two magnitudes that can be carried out through a quotient is called a ratio. We usually express it as a fraction denoted by a is to b. a is to b is equal to a by b. But remember one thing, we can always find the ratio of two similar quantities. For example, we can find the ratio of two lengths, but we cannot find the ratio between a length and weight. Now, the ratio between base and height is 10 is to 8, that is equal to 1.25. That is, the base is 1.25 times larger than its height. This quotient we got is called proportionality constant. Now we calculate the ratios for other pictures also. Here base is equal to 10 cm and height is equal to 11.5 cm. So that B is to H is equal to 0.86. Look, it's different from the proportionality constant of the original picture. Now we calculate the same for the other picture also. Here also we got a different proportionality constant. Since the ratio of base to height is different in both the cases, we got distorted pictures. Now we can check whether we can draw this picture without any distortions but in an enlarged size. Here I am going to draw a picture of double size. The height of our picture is 8 cm. Now I take the height of new picture as 16 cm. To get the base length we use two tricks. One, to get the new height we multiplied old one with two. So to get the new base we do the same. New base is equal to old base times two which is equal to 20 cm. Now the second method. We know that base is equal to 1.25 times the height. Now to get the new base we do the same 1.25 times 16 which is again 20 cm. Now we got the base and height of our required drawing. Enough of maths. Now we can go to the art section. We can learn a very important technique in drawing called grid method. Any pictures, even portraits are drawn using this method. 
and the peculiarity is that we can change the picture to any size. For this, first we draw grids on the original picture. Here, I am dividing it into sections of 2 cm each. So, base is divided into 5 sections and height into 4. Here I have drawn the borders with base 20 cm and height 16 cm. Now we can draw grid on this two. In the original base is divided into 5 sections. So here also we do the same that is 20 divided by 5 which is equal to 4 cm. So we divide base into sections of 4 cm each. Height also in the same way into 4 sections of 4 cm each. Here we can notice one thing, size of the grids are also doubled. For easy drawing, we just number the lines of the grids like this. When we draw using grid method, we have to concentrate only on one column at a time and draw the lines of the picture in that column only. For example, as in the original picture, I start from the middle of the second column and go slightly up to the first column and continue like that. So let's complete it. Look, a cutie elephant in double size is ready. Again coming back to the mathematics part. Here also we calculate the base is to height ratio of this picture. That is 20 divided by 16 which is equal to 1.25. 
so even if we enlarged the picture the ratio between the base and the height is the same that's why we got the picture in the correct shape here we calculated two ratios 10 is to 8 and 20 is to 16 and we got both values as 1.25 that means that both of these ratios are equal here we learn a new concept in mathematics using the same technique i drew another picture but with a reduced size here also we can calculate the base to height ratio here base is equal to 5 cm height is equal to 4 cm and the ratio we got as 5 by 4 is equal to 1.25 so we can conclude that we can change the size of any picture without any distortions as far as the ratio of base to height remains the same or the proportionality constant is the same